So obviously there are a lot of differences between uh, All Quiet on the Western Front and The Man I Killed. Um, you know, those are going to be cultural differences for the most part. Uh, the authors, you know, Eric Maria Remarque is a German writing in the 1920s after his combat experience in World War One, which was, you know, this massive war that had a lot of popular support in Germany, even though the Germans lost. Um, and we kind of know what happened after after that war and how that defeat was processed by the German people. So he's writing in that culture that uh, sort of end of the Weimar Republic uh, into the rise of Hitlerism and, and Nazism. Um, so he's going to process it in one particular way. Tim O'Brien um, was a, he is actually a Vietnam War veteran. He uh, fought in Vietnam as an infantryman in the uh, mid to late 1960s, uh, came home um, and became a writer uh, and has spent his entire writing career processing what happened uh, in Vietnam to the American soldiers. So he's been kind of living that post-war experience for his entire career. Um, so if you look at those differences, you know, in how the, um, the narrator's friends talk to them about you know, their first kill and all that kind of stuff. Um, you, you might be able to find some some explanation for the differences in who the authors are as well as who these characters are and, and sort of where they come from. I'm way more interested right now in the similarities, though, between, uh, between these two texts. So um, I'd like you to take a piece of paper and just start jotting down a list of all the similarities you could think of between uh, the story of the man I killed and chapter nine of All Quiet. These could be big things like plot points, uh, characters, um, they could be small things like word choice in description, um, you know, even the order in which things occur. But take a few minutes, do that, pause this video, uh, make your list. And then once you've, you've exhausted your list um, and done an honest job of that, come back, press play, and let's talk a little bit and think a little bit about this question. Okay, so what we're looking for is what could account for all these similarities like where are these similarities coming from why is it that uh the man i killed is so similar in a lot of ways to uh chapter nine of all quiet on the western front which was written about 60 years earlier um and in fact uh, i'll give away something for when you're in english three uh, the things they carried uh if you were it, it's not told chronologically but if you were to arrange it chronologically follows very, very similarly the plot of All Quiet on the Western Front. And there are some pretty big differences, but um, it's a very similar plot arc. So why is it that Tim O'Brien seems to have deliberately created this intertextual experience? Um, you can read the things they carried without having read All Quiet on the Western Front. Um, I read the things they carried before I had read All Quiet on the Western Front, just the way that I came to those books. Um, but once I read All Quiet on the Western Front, a lot of things in the things they carried made a lot more sense to me. So, like, why is it that that this is a, a, a um, you know, why is All Quiet sort of that intertextual model for um, the things they carried? So we're going to do a little bit of writing about that so you can go back into the assignment now. 